and um, end the game. Yeah, it's a short game. Yeah, really short. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I was wrong. We identified the Oops. ship that touched down on Eden Prime. Way to Normandy, be. A human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They Mr. managed to save Anderson. the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Oh. Oh, you mad, bro. I don't rage quit that hard, nearly. You mad? The guy doesn't even look human, he looks, um, synthetic. Like, I mean, seriously. I'm Doctor. awake! Doctor okay, Chakwas. good. I think Not he's waking dead. up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Uh, what happened? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Jeez. Something happened down there with the beacon, Power nap. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. She's, she looks a lot better uh, out of no her You had no way suit. to know what would happen. Just saying. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain, Captain Anderson. Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Hugs and kisses. Readings at normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Yeah, yeah. Glad to hear it. Woo. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Okay. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. I think Ashley's attracted to Shepard here. Sounds like that beacon pretty here. hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Good. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. No. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. Huh? I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Exactly. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a Spectre. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why does he hate us? Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed? Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? 
Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we gonna tell him? I had a bad, bad dream. dream. <laughs> so we true. don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. Understood. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Okay. Ashley was in the mess, right? Where's the mess hall? Huh? Hey, Commander. Hey, yeah. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Yay, Paragon. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an huh. impressive service record, over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Like, what, what kind, kind of, of complications? complications? Stop checking what I'm saying! Insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Huh. Well, thank you. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. <gasps> My locker. Why do I have stuff that I wouldn't even use? Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Thank you, Caden. Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. All right. Let's uh. Well, let's let's just go uh, talk to uh, Joker. Joker isn't here. I had to expect everything to be on the uh, same spot. Hello. Do -do. Ah, maybe the flight deck is level one, right? I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, the cockpit and control galaxy map thingy. What was that? What was that? Was... Oh, Joker. Hey, Joker. What's up, man? Airlock. Maybe. Yes, airlock. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. get these mass relay things. Prothean. <gasps> it's a flower! 
Yeah, it's a flower. Nope. A big, um... That looks like the thing from War of the Worlds that, um... Comes down from, like, the ships when they're about to the fire their... Not War of the Worlds. Flagship of the Independence Day. Wow, well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster! Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. <sighs> Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy. Yeah, the thing from um, Independence Day that comes down from the ships when it starts funneling its energy to shoot the laser thing. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Yeah, yeah. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. Wow, it's amazing. Who built this? It's very impressive. God, Joker's good. Not gonna lie. Wow, that's really this pretty. Is an outrage! The council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony. You mad, the Turians girl? don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. She you don't get down, to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel calm Security down, is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? Very much they so. Are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. He's... It's the truth. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That wasn't That's my Saren's fault, fault not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. I don't like this. Otherwise, the Council guy. might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Politicians Come with never me, Captain. understand. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Amen. Sure is peaceful here. It is really peaceful. This place is a little too perfect. Like they're hiding something. Maybe. Very much so. Yeah, yeah. Captain Drew. Huh. Strange. Well, I guess, um... Alright guys, I'm gonna pause the video. I'm really hungry and thirsty. Um... I'll be right back, and then we'll explore the Citadel. Um... See if I could pick up any side missions or something like that before we uh, uh, continue on the main storyline of the campaign. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I am back. Um, yeah, it's been just a couple seconds. I went out and got food. have it right next to me. So, um, I, I, I'm guess uh, so, um, since I'm going to be eating, I'm going to mute my mic. And then we are just going to go around and... Um, See if we can find some stuff to do while well, my mic is muted, so. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. 
You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find this Asari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Pleased greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that, and if you do, I am very sorry for you. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups, though we are always welcoming to outsiders. Our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I had to put my food up, because I didn't quite finish. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Huh. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. Oh. I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? No thanks, douchebag. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Who? What are you? Can I talk? <laughs> it was like a backpack. Back, 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 back. All right, so let's go over to this consort's office. Seem to be rude to that Elcor. See if I can get it straightened out for him. There was a misunderstanding or something. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. How do you know I'm a commander? You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and oh. notable people. 
What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. What's that? Oh, Avina is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. Like a virtual intelligence, that's pretty cool. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. I should be Understandable. Going. Have a pleasant day. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Let's go up here. It's in here. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Mm hmm Big place. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Nah, no, calm down, Ashley. Keep an open mind. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. Elcor, they seem so nice. Huh. Yeah, sorry, I was eating chips. I'm done now, though. Oh, no, I don't want to go out. Just more stuff. Um, let's go to the end room. Anyone to talk to? Oh, hello. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. I don't believe the rumor. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Huh? Is there something I could do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari Consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh, no, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, Good. kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. Awkward. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Well, I'm sorry, God. Hello. Eh. Another one of those creepy looking green spider things. Alright, let's go and say hello to this person. Hello. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. Ah, C -Sec. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. Uh -huh. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Yes. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? Yes, I think we are. I'll be going now. Goodbye. You're so busy. I think Z is... Yeah, yeah, I could just... No. I need to get around to places. Wow, slow doors. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your so, guide. Yeah. Seems like Academy. Citadel Tower. I need to go to the Citadel Tower. I need to do that too. Rapid Transit. Financial District. Let's go over here. Hello? Any conversation? Nope. Yeah. 
I wish you could sprint faster. Doesn't actually seem like I'm sprinting any faster. Another one of those cre creepy things. Oh, that's a long way over there. Hmm. If you're gonna make a Krogan statue, you might as well make it big, right? Huh. Oops. Slayerian. I've had my office rearranged five times. Five times? Why? What do they want? How should I know? It's not like keepers offer an explanation keepers. for what they're doing. And yet, everyone just lets them go on doing whatever it is they do. What choice do we have? We keepers? Are they called keepers? I guess they're called keepers. Yeah, right. I think this is consort's Welcome. room. I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? I need Can't I just go me. in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. All right. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in... Um, three or four months. Are you serious? Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name, and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? Nope, I'm good. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return Three or four months. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. Sorry I have pretty faces. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I go? Why not? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Okay. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. Yeah, let's go up here. <sighs> Alright. We need to talk, honey. That is close enough, Commander. Oh. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. Ours? Why so what exactly selfish? Do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Tell me about it. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What went wrong exactly? What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. All right. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop Easy spreading there. lies about me, I would be very grateful. Easy. Now Welcome. I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Interesting sphere thing there. <laughs> Door pwned. They might get stuck in there. I don't care. Oh, they teleport. Never mind. I door pwned them though. You know that was pretty cool. You said that That's before, bro. Alright, I think we need to... Wow, I took the long way, didn't I? Huh, whatever. Alright, 